Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Champions League jersey review. Yes, you have chosen the next jersey review that I should do is the Champions League jersey review. And I think I have not done one last season due to time constraints and this time it's also a little bit delayed thanks to the World Cup and then a little bit of a sickness of mine and we have it delayed. However, I usually have done it in eight parts, you know, one for each group, but I have decided, you know, I do a lot of double duty there and most of the teams in the Champions League, I've already talked about their jerseys. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to do it also within four videos and I group two groups always together, A, B, C, D, uh, E, F and G, H. And then I will just not really skip. I will show you the jerseys of the teams that I've already, or the jerseys that I've already talked about. But I will just mention the grade and refer you to the original video for the league-specific review because I've already done uh, reviews for six whole leagues. But then I will talk about all the other jerseys that have that we have not seen yet or that have been dedicated European jerseys for that particular team. If it's a team that we have not been talking about because they're not one of the six leagues we have done uh, reviews, which uh, is, of course, uh, England, uh, Spain, Germany, Italy, France and Austria, then we look at the entire set that has been released and I point out some differences for Europe as well. But other than that, I'm just going to go group by group and basically team by team uh, in an alphabetical order as well. And so, in this particular video, we are looking at my team in AC Milan, we have Chelsea, we have uh, Salzburg, we have Dinamo Zagreb, uh, we have the defending champions uh, Real Madrid, we have Leipzig, we have Schachter Donetsk and we have Celtic. So there are actually three and a half teams that we have not covered uh, yet, which actually makes it quite exciting. And we'll start in Group E, not with Milan, but we go alphabetically. We start with Chelsea. Look up at the Premier League jer jer jersey review for, for the grades. I find that the home jersey uh, is a little bit underrated. Uh, or generally, I gave it actually seven. I do like the away jer jersey at eight stars, but I don't like the golden one uh, three. Although in play at West Ham, it didn't look all that bad. And let's go to Dinamo Zagreb. Um, Adidas template. I mean, it's more or less a Schalke jersey with a little bit golden accents. Uh, does look all the bad, but it's the white underarms. Why do we have that? If this was all blue with just that color, I think I would be all fine. But this way, uh, it takes it down a little bit that it's not so great looking. I give this a five star. I have to say though that the away jersey, despite all the crazy pattern on there, when they played uh, at Milan with this, I have to say I did enjoy it. Uh, there's a certain playfulness to it. There's not much rhyme or reason going with it. Also has to be said. But I find this refreshing. And especially you don't see the Adidas logo all that well. I'm willing to give this 7 star because it's a fresh take on another weight jer 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 jersey without being boring. You have white, you have blue, as like the colors and you have a full color crest which is always a good thing. And then they also have a golden jersey, uh, which I think is mainly used in the league. Again, it's rather template especially with the pattern. It looks almost like a goalkeeping jersey. The one thing is, while I'm not a big fan of the monochromatic crest, I think they did it here quite well. In previous iterations, you just got for the checkerboard pattern the grid. But here they fill it in that it do really, instead of the red, you have a dark blue. Instead of the white, you have kind of slightly filled in dots. Makes it look a whole lot better than uh, other iterations of a monochromatic crest. That I really like it. Actually, that puts it a little bit over the top for me. Um, but again, can I give more than six stars here? I don't think so. And we're moving on and we're going to Milan. Again, Serie A jersey review up here. Home jersey, five stars. Um, not bad, but also not the greatest. I love this away jersey. Very high up on my list. I gave it nine stars. I detest the third jersey uh, with two stars. Moving over to my 
my home country but to a team that I absolutely dislike and uh, Red Bull Salzburg or only FC Salzburg how they are co uh, called in European competitions have issued a home jersey that I do not understand a European home jersey. Um, note that there's a different crest of course um, which I would argue is almost better than the regular one that they have. But that's personal opinion. But what I don't say, why do you go in gray with dark blue when your home colors are white and red? That does not make any sense to me. I do not get that one uh, like at all. But hey, I don't get Salzburg period. So yeah, it's not a jersey that I enjoy watching. Uh, I don't find any endearing thing in there. And also this gradient in there, it just looks odd and it does not look very Salzburg to me. Uh, it's a two-star jersey. For the away jersey in Europe, they use the same as in the league, uh, which is shown here, but then uh, they just add the regular Red Bull and the different logo, but it's not enough to make it a different grade than the five. And then they have actually issued an all red jersey, which is only worn now in the league, but it's a very interesting one with the red and the silver logos. I think that looks actually nice, and then the two bulls on the side. I think without the bulls it might have looked better, but it looks literally like a Red Bull can in a way, one of their special drinks. But it's, I think, the best Salzburg jersey this season. That's like, I would say so. I actually would give this a seven star just because I think the collector of colors works quite well. And we're done with Group E. Let's move over to Group F to a really nice set by Celtic. I think Adidas have outdone themselves a little bit here. I really like the home jersey. I especially like that the hoops, uh, there is a certain structure in there that I find super interesting. I love the way the crest is done. And then the silver stripes up top, kind of, you know, it, they are there, but they're not really there. It's like similar to the Ajax jersey last season. This is a very well executed jersey. Really, really nicely done. Um, I think in European play, uh, they have the Celtic FC Foundation logo on there, which is, of course, also a nice touch if you don't want to put the betting logo on there. Well, I gotta say Celtic looking really nice. And I especially like that, uh, you know, there, uh, there are two tones of green, but it's not in, uh, it's in a, done in a very interesting way. Absolutely like this, love this jersey. Uh, jersey. Um, I think it looks better with the Duffer Bet sponsor. Uh, I have to say this is a 10 for me. And the away jersey is equally nice. Uh, the pinstripes, it's such a classic touch with a little bit green in there. It looks super nice. Again, Celtic FC Foundation in um, uh, your, your European play. Just by that, it would be the better jersey. There's one thing though that takes it down and that is why is the crest within a shield? Completely unnecessary. If you just put the crest there, maybe give it a thicker black outline, totally sufficient. We don't need to do it here. So that's why I take this down. Uh, it's a really, really nice jersey again. I take it down a little bit. And to me, this is only a nine. But I have to say Celtic with those two jerseys really knocked it out of the park. Uh, the third jersey then is way down. I actually think if you have a great jersey, uh, put me some green there, especially the crest. The crest is not there. It's literally not there. Uh, that is the thing that box with that one. And after two stellar jerseys, this was just straight out of the auto toilet. Is as bad as the Salzburg jersey. Uh, two stars here because if you cannot even make out the crest, why bother? Honestly. Going over to Leipzig, uh, their home jersey we saw in the Bundesliga jersey review. I'm not a fan. Horrible. Three stars. We have the away jersey is slightly better in five then i think the best one is the third jersey with eight and then they have released also for the bundesliga a leipzig on fire jersey which per se in all white it looks all right and it has a, a nice pattern the problem is it's only on the side and it's not it's a little bit underwhelming on, the, on honestly if it's leipzig on fire i mean for first of all the fire emojis on the back of the neck which you, which you cannot see here it's just uh ridiculous 
But if you have live Leipzig on fire, I would actually hope that the, that this pattern goes a little bit more around and not just on the side. I think we they had a similar jersey not too long ago, and it just looks odd because what's the point of putting it on on the side? You put stuff on the front of the jersey. So again, while I think the jersey looks quite nice, it's also a chance missed in the sense. I'm gonna give it six star. It's the second best Leipzig jersey. Not a big fan, though. Uh, needless to say, <laughs> of overall, and that applies to the whole club and uh, whatever. Real Madrid La Liga jersey review up there. We have a home jersey that's quite nice with eight stars. Um, don't quite get the away jersey. I gave that one four stars, and then the third jersey a tad better, but also a little bit lacking. I think Real Madrid deserves something better. I gave this one a six star. And we're gonna end it at Schachter Donetsk, who, yeah, Puma. Puma doing Puma things. You know, like the Milan home jersey where the stripes are applied in the box. With Schachter, we take even thicker stripes, so we basically have two bars here. Really? Really? That's all you're gonna do here? I mean, yes, it's a whole lot of orange, but I don't know. I really don't know. It, 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 it literally doesn't look quite right to me. It's a four star and, you know, I really would love to like a uh, Schachter jersey again. Um, there's something about the away jersey. I don't necessarily like the colors, but I think the checkerboard pattern does something. And also the green and then look at the checkerboard. But when it's not a straight checkerboard pattern, it kind of fades in and fades out. There's a little fuzziness to the edges at times. Which makes it interesting to look at and I think it fits with the mining uh, theme of the entire thing. And then the black and the orange, the way it is applied, it actually makes some sense. Again, I do not like the colors overall, but I think that this is a nice shirt. This is an interesting shirt that I've, I actually, I wouldn't mind. Um, I'm gonna give this seven, believe it or not. And I think that the third jersey, which uh, was worn in League Place, basically a riff of the home jersey, but I actually like this. This one is done better because you have it white, then you have only the gray. So basically it's the same pattern there, but I really love how the sleeves cuffs pop. The one thing is maybe a full colored crest would have done it well, but I think this looks not bad uh, at all. Um, so I'm also gonna give this seven. Uh, it's probably the most visually appealing of these, uh, despite having a rather weird pattern overall. And we're done with these two groups. Please let me know which jersey you did like in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.